represent all my island people say We people celebrating all it from my homeland Like my old man say there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother lyrical straight from the Previously on Delos, I get abducted for my birthday and we explore the amazingly beautiful Tobago Keys. We're up early today because we're sailing up north. The weather is good, the wind's out of the east, and we're gonna head back up to Kariaku. And then we're even gonna sail a little bit further north to Bekwe and join a regatta. Are you excited about this regatta, Brian? Yeah, I think it's gonna be cool. It's been a long time since we've done a real regatta, if ever. Maybe my memory was affected by the sight of Brady in a bikini. Or maybe it was the girls with full-on packages. I don't really think the one in Madagascar counts. We won that one though, I count that one. I don't know man, apparently we got first place. <laughs> We did, but we won because of our drinking and shooting skills, not necessarily. We did well sailing, but... <laughs> yeah. If there's wind, we'll do well. If there's light wind, it's gonna be real shameful for us, because we're heavy. We have a lot of gear on board, and we need at least 10 knots of wind. Yeah. Delos really isn't the best regatta boat, and our record is dubious at best. But Rick mentioned plans to sail north, up through the Grenadines to Bekwe. There was a regatta planned, and it seemed like the perfect opportunity to check out some places we'd never been before. We asked if we could tag along in buddy boat, so we'd spent the last few days hopping from island to island and making short day sails. We've lost Alex and Brady, they're somewhere in the dinghy. <laughs> Filming other people. We just pulled into Beckway and I think we see Dog Smile, our friends from LTD, so we're gonna go try and chase them down. Dog Smile is a J105 and a pure sailing machine. We shared many a rum with their skipper John and heard they might be terrorizing these waters for the weekend. For her day job, she teaches basic keelboat sailing in Grenada, but occasionally John cuts her loose. Her crew were taking the regatta real seriously and had been practicing all afternoon. But it's really cool to be here. It's beautiful beaches, there's a lot of boats. We actually talked to a guy, uh, or a guy wrote on our Instagram, we put up a picture of a drone shot that was just showing the bay. And he said he was here like 10 years ago and it was like 10 boats in this anchorage. And <laughs> that's incredible to think because right now, I think we counted to just by like, you know, looking out on the bay, like we counted to about 250, 300 boats. So yeah, it's pretty impressive how, how it's changed maybe in the last 10 years then. Welcome to Beckway. Welcome. Beckway is a jewel of an island, an absolute sailing paradise. The island's pretty small, with a total area of only seven square miles and a population of just over 4,000 people. Before checking in with customs, Rick decided to take us to his favorite pizza spot. It's pretty much a real live version of Rick's picks. Uh, so there, there's three options. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are they? Pepperoni, <laughs> pineapple, or minced meat. <laughs> How do you say it? I would it's say called heroin. heroin. 
know. High Rune. High Rune. <laughs> Made in St. Vincent. Island of pure water and quality beer. Who is this? What are you, Vanna Weiss? Yeah. Yeah. We get free check-in for being here with the regatta. Cool. Let's go check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this, the 37th Bakeway Annual Easter Regatta. Yay. Thank you. Are we here to play or are we here to race? To race! I can hear you. To race, of course. Excellent. In the restaurant oh. area. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Cheers. Oh, uh, I think they said free rum for the first hour and two for one thereafter. Whoa. The crowd went crazy. Yeah, that was a big reaction. Any Today is day one of racing day and <laughs> we just put up our Budaman sails. We changed the sails. Day one, Easter Regatta Beckway Flow Friendship Bay Yacht Race. Uh, we start out here, we go to the mark to windward, around this mark, we go around the northwest mark, which is that orange buoy way out there, around the tip of the island, into this bay, which is going to be real interesting. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do in there. <laughs> and then back around this way, I think it's like less than 20 miles, but it's going to be a challenge for us because I think we're one of the only cruising boats. Uh, everybody else has got like a fairly trimmed up boat with some nice tight sails so we're one of the heavier slower boats but it'll be fun yeah, we'll see how we do it's actually not that much wind it's on like 10 knots i guess these guys are starting yeah what channel is the race on <laughs> fishtail fishtail charlie whiskey <laughs> what's going on here Seven, one. regatta news daily broadcast so what channel is the <laughs> what? <laughs> we're not like we're got at cruisers, okay? We're more like cruiser <laughs> Now we'll know what's going on. Woo! Some race is starting now, right? Bracing. Woo! There's a lot of cool boats around too. <laughs> Stay over there! Look at this. There's no wind. No wind, man. What we're, the hell is We're not the, deal? the last boat, though. That's the last boat right there. It seems that uh, Gatas and Delos are not the best boats. We're more uh, like an open ocean type of sailor with uh, wind and waves. Mm -hmm. And this uh, three knot wind business is just not that good for our boat, I guess. No, it's not. This is filled with all this shit. We should have put all of our stuff on Rick's boat. <laughs> yeah. Here, Rick! Dive gear, dive decks, dive compressor, sub cards, extra fuel, extra anchor, extra chain, extra sails, books. Decided to pack it in. We were going negative uh, 0.5 knots. <laughs> Been out here for three hours. We haven't done very well. The conditions are not favorable to us. We're putting up the surrender flag, hoisting the, the we quit flag. We 
gave it a solid effort. They gave us one of these. <laughs> and I was like, we had to do it and then it gave us a thumbs up. <laughs> it was a solid effort. If there was wind, we would have been having a blast. And we, did, we are having a blast. Yeah. We're having a gas, kitten. Oh my god, you're so sweaty. Yeah. Jeez. I put a lot of sunscreen on, so it probably clogged up my porzies. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Don't act like you're not impressed. <laughs> okay, I'll turn my best. Turn you on, hey. Hey. So today, it's second part of racing day. <laughs> and unfortunately, it's kind of raining a little bit. We are just contemplating if we will even be able to move. How's it going out there, Ray? <laughs> yeah, there's a boat there. Full sails up, race boat just sitting there, not moving anywhere. <laughs> at the mark. <laughs> These guys are just sitting there. Oh no, one boat is moving a little bit. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day for them. Wow. <clears throat> That's rough. Look at these sailboats up there too, like the racing was trying to even get out. Oof. It's rough, man. <laughs> I'd say we, we just chill today or, or maybe if it clears up, go for a dive or something and the next time it's blowing like 20 knots, we just go fucking have our own regatta for the day when it's like super fun to sail. Yeah, I feel kind of like a pussy, but whatever. Kaza just confirmed you have no pussy. <laughs> we get play. We get plenty of sailing. Yeah. And so if it's not good conditions for us to sail, then it would have been fun, I think, if it was a little bit of wind. <laughs> the regatta today got cancelled for lack of wind. The funny thing is, is that there's way more wind today than there was yesterday. But we're not arguing, we've decided to go diving. Instead, make good use of our time. We're gonna so go, we go pick up one of the sailors, RJ from LTD, who was supposed to be sailing today. Mm -hmm. But instead, he's gonna come diving. Destroy. I think we're gonna go over there by these cliffs that we sailed past yesterday that look pretty cool. It was like over 40 meters right up to the shore, so about 130 feet. So it should be a cool wall, is what we're hoping for. From the chart, we thought it looked like a pretty good dive site. Steep drop-offs usually are, so we sailed on out. Even if it sucks, you still get to breathe underwater, which is good enough for us. I think we're gonna drop just a little short of the point. It looks like there's a slight current headed this way. So maybe we can drop people right in here. It's really deep. We're just this far off the rock. It's still 24 meters deep. Well, the joke is, well, this one they say it was for real, but uh, the joke is they talk about that's how West Indian sells his shipping business. Because nobody wants to buy it, so you hire a captain to run it aground and the ah. insurance company pays for it. Bye-bye. It's like 30 minutes later and they must have drifted super fast. Oh, now they're like out in the middle of nowhere doing their safety stop. And like 60 meters of water is drifting. It must have been a lot of current, huh? Yeah, it must have been ripping. It's kind of hectic. There's a lot going on down there. <laughs> uh, blasted off the island. Yeah. Holy There's a current on the other side ripping to the point. And then we found a nice flat spot and we chilled for a while. And then when we started coming up, it was ripping this way. Really? And we're like, leave the wall. <laughs> yeah. Very excited. Yeah, it'll be good.
spot right there. Yeah, it was a little chiller. Very chill. Oh. Yours hey. next, you guys had yeah. food there. Oh, it was beautiful. We could just hang out forever. Oh, cool. The car was like very chill. I mean, it was there. You could ride it. Yeah. But uh, but it wasn't like whipping you around. It wasn't like hectic. And maybe tomorrow there will be more wind and we can potentially do another race, but we'll see. Um, but that's about it. Uh, this is Shaykin. Uh, please confirm the course for the first race over. Shaykin, it is um, course A, G24 and so far, it's course A on your pink book. Okay, course A on your pink book. But is that us or? This is like super confusing. So they just said it was supposed to be the round, round the island race today, which we were keen to do because triangles in the bay for Delos is not fun. And now they just said that... To encourage cruising boats, we need those kinds of races. Triangles in close quarters with cruising boats is a very, very bad idea. And we're really kind of sorry, but uh, understand. So thank you very much, but we'll be there. Thank you, I think everybody has confirmed it's not around the island. Here, let's go around the island. Just ask if anybody wants to join us. Yeah, all boats on this channel. This is Delos. If anybody is keen to join us for an around the island sail, just come back to us on 6-8. Uh, um, just heard your informational <laughs> notification. I, we would be happy to join the race around the island. Alright. Cool, that sounds like plan. We're not really much up for buoy racing in this big beast. She kind of drives like a bus, but there's a little bit of breeze and maybe we can go out and at least have some fun sailing over. Yeah, well, I mean, what we could do is start with everybody else and uh, just go around the islands. It might be the easiest thing. Yeah, all right, that sounds like a good plan. Well, uh, let's plan for that then. Okay, out. We'll be standing by 6-8. Cool, we got at least one boat to race with us. miles or so and I'm happy to report that we are so far in the lead right now it's incredible yeah, first there's, place. there's no other boat in sight and uh, we're having a hell of a sail we, we started the Delos Regatta series and it's a, a nice gentle sail you stop you do a dive and then you do a picnic with beers at the end nice we'll call it a fun gata I like it <laughs> The conditions are perfect. We got how much breeze? 20 knots? Yeah, 20. 20 knots of breeze. We're pointing really high, the bottom's clean. A little bit of ocean chop. Yep. Welcome to event two of the Delos Easter Regatta Biathlon. Event two will include diving to the bottom, hanging out for a while, and then coming back up to meet the boat, at which point we will sail on again. You guys ready? Yes, so ready. It's the best part. <laughs>
think I saw the, the single biggest lobster I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I didn't even know it was possible they could get that big. Oh, Huge, okay. man. Yeah. Well, I wasn't scared. That. Really? It's like a bull. Crazy. Nice. So many spiny lobsters too. Yeah, cool. An incredible dive. You guys ready to go? Ready to go. Okay. I like this Delos Regatta thing we got going on. And we're on to activity number three in the Delos Easter Fungata. Slacklining. Slackline. <laughs> winner, winner. <laughs> Looks like a Russian ballerina. We later found out that most of the boats didn't even finish the first race either. And because of our handicap, we actually did pretty well. In fact, we took third in our fat boat cruising class. Still trying to figure out how that math works. Thank you. I don't know what we got yet, but thank you. One more. Whoa, did we get three bags? I'm his assistant. Wow, quite heavy stuff too. It's got a bit of a backlog here. I'm going to have to hang on a moment. That's amazing. What? Yeah. That's incredible. Exciting. Our prize was more rum than we could drink and a box of beer. So sweet. And how about John and the crew of Dog Smile? Well, their hard work paid off and they took first overall for the entire regatta. Nice work, guys. Because you guys have been such an important part of our intro into the Caribbean. <laughs> like, it's so cool coming in from, from Trinidad, sailing into Grenada and being like, have a boat meet us out there. And... I see Delos! Woo! <laughs> now for Rick, we have... <laughs> Woo! No, I'm just kidding, Sasha. <laughs> Captain Rick Moore. No, seriously, Rick, we appreciate everything you've done for us here, man. You've made our first intro into the Caribbean incredible. Wow, guys, look at that. Fashion blend. Uh -huh. You have no idea how I will wear that every night. Even she's like, oh my God, and we're gonna see anything else. <laughs> no, I'm serious, you have no idea. Hey. Wow, last, last but not least. Go fight, go fight more, there's more, there's more. It's totally for you, Rick, and you're not allowed to touch it for at least a year. What's that about? <laughs> What's that? This is this is Delos Moonshine. Oh. Hey, you know what? I'm good with that. A year from now, I will look at that. <laughs> Once you send me an email and say, right. now today's the day. <laughs> thank you guys for everything. Yeah, thank you, man. Okay. Are you kidding? Yeah. Are you kidding? Welcome in. Oh, uh, We're gonna miss you, you guys no until idea, you man. come back to Grenada. <laughs> <laughs> so great to meet you guys, you can't even imagine. You have no idea. It's been so much fun hanging out with you guys. Captain Rick, what a good guy. He gave us our first pirate flag. He took it straight off his boat and gave it to us. I think for sailors, that's a, that's a mark of love. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. That looks pretty good, huh? Perfect, man. We did it, Rick! <laughs> Bye, guys! See you soon! Bye, guys! Bye, Tiki! Yeah! <laughs> That's the one. What a legend, huh? Yeah. Never gets easier to say goodbye. Such a good, good person, man. Brian's gonna drive uh, drive the office to the next destination. <laughs> so we're on our way to Kariaku and then back to our stomping grounds in Grenada. We have about 10 days before Dallas comes out of the water. We have a lot to do. Roll montage! <laughs> Up next on Delos, we have a patron meetup in Grenada and prepare Delos for a few months of storage while we go back home to visit family.
Bye bye Dallas. Stay safe. We'll see you soon. Okay, go. <laughs> I'm doing it on the wrong throat. <laughs> the wrong throat. <laughs>